welcome back to my channel. I am Keegan. If you are new, I am new too. Don't worry. We're kind of just figuring this out as we go. Um, thank you for visiting, whether you are liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, or just viewing. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for coming and wanting to see what I'm doing. Um, but today I wanted to talk a little bit about stretching and why it's so, so, so important on counteracting the effects gravity has on our bodies. Um, there are really two types of stretching, which are static and dynamic. Ah, and I can perform both of those on the applied motion. Yes. I, one of the main reasons why I love it. I love this machine. It is to die for. Um, they both feel great, but today I really want to focus on static stretching and I'll have a couple of stretches, well videos, of me stretching on the applied motion. They're super easy and they're great. And oh. Before we head into those videos, I want to make sure you guys know that getting on this machine correctly is very, very, very important. You want to make sure that your neck and your lower back are supported by the molded seats that you'll see on like the main bench almost. Um, I'll explain it as we go throughout the videos. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested or want to know more about the applied motion, I'll have the link down below and then if you want to purchase the applied motion, which I recommend you do, you can use my little code as you go and check out. Why did I say code like that? <laughs> okay. Anyways, you can use my little code and it'll be like right here somewhere. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you again for coming. <laughs> I wanted to go over getting on the machine correctly just one more time. I know I previously had in the first video how you get on the machine, but I want you guys to make sure that you see that I slide all the way down, and yes, I do kick my left and my right foot up, but you want to make sure that your lower back and your neck are supported by those two lower molded seats that you see. I guess they're not lower, but yeah, those two molded seats that you see. can see I am holding onto the stainless steel bar and I am in what I call the tucked position and I'm just hanging with no movement. This is a static stretch and it's really one of the greatest ones. Not only am I stretching my spine, I'm also stretching my arms and shoulder muscles at the same exact time, which feels even better. I am holding the stretch for about 10 seconds and then I rotate back up to the top and then once again rotate back down and do another static stretch and I do about four to six of them. As you can see in this video, I am doing the one-legged hamstring stretch. Again, I hold for about 10 to 15 seconds, which I prefer to 15 just because I like a longer stretch. Um, but I allow my weight to fall towards the floor, providing a thorough stretch, as you can see. Of course, you'll want to do both of these exercises at your own pace, which is an easy, easy, easy peasy thing to do on the applied motion.
Here's another wonderful hamstring stretch that I absolutely love. This is the both legs. Um, as you can see, I'm allowing my weight to fall towards the floor. Uh, I don't necessarily like try to come up. I come up every 10 to 15 seconds, so I hang there for a while. But of course you wanna do these exercises at your own pace, like I just said, but yeah, I love this machine.